Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial in Roblox Studio. My name is Ace and today I'm going to teach you on how to build your own custom roads based off of 22 Pilots Roads and Parrick's Road Creator plugin. Now the reason why I am doing this is because both road plugins are like old and they don't work anymore. So I was able to salvage 22 Pilots old road and create my my own little pieces for my own roads from his plugin and I was able to recreate Peric's road plugin where they are extremely similar to to his plugin roads. So throughout this video I'm going to go through a step-by-step -step process on what I do to create these roads and I'm going to have timestamps only for the two individual roads. So I'm going to have a timestamp for the first road and a timestamp for the, the second road. That's the, those are the only timestamps I'm going to have. Y'all can use either one. Y'all can use both of them to practice on. But we are just going to just go through a step-by-step -step process. And we're only going to do a one-lane road. If you need to do a two-lane, you, you can literally just duplicate it, rotate it in, uh, 180 degrees, and scoot it over to the side. And then you got your two-lane road, and then you can just do with whatever you want. So, we're going to start off with, with the smaller piece, and I apologize for the uh, day, the daylight cycle, y'all are just going just gonna to have to get used to it. But I'm going to go in a step-by-step -step process on how I create these roads just based off of just parts alone. So, so for the first road, let's say that you have your uh, Parrick's road up. It, it could be at any length, we're only going to worry about the size and the width. The, the length is going to be... Um, this can be like shorter or as long as you want. So first of all, you're going to want to get your piece, right? So what I do is that I get my road and then I dra I drag my piece and I want to scale it up to where it's it's about the entire width of the road. Now for the model, I have I have a set to rotate for five degrees in the move at point two studs. That tends to be the most accurate for me based off of my experience. But, but y'all can do whatever length that you want. If you if you have it at 0.25, your results may vary, but they should come out in similar results. So after you, you got your width, this is actually very similar or pretty spot on to what I want. So after you get your width, you're going to want to adjust the height to the height of the road just so that it looks really good. Okay, so that's about good. I need to size that down. Let me, okay, let me see if I can just get under here and scoot this up a little bit. Yeah, about right there. All right, so that is about the same height as this road. Oh, autosave, I apologize. So now we got our little piece right here. So we basically got our width. We don't have to worry about this piece anymore. So now you... So now what I do is that I change the material to concrete and then I find like a good road color. We got like this black right here. We could do like a dark gray. We can do like a pitch black. You can do whatever color you want. It's completely up to you. I'm just going to do just a standard black because that's pretty much on like what this road is. So, so after you get your piece, I'm actually going to scoot this right back here. And now we're going to work on the line segments. Now these parts, this is going to be a little bit tricky, but this should make sense. So what I always do is that I duplicate this part, right? I'm going to scoot it up by one notch and I'm going to scale it down to about the width of this line, which is about right here. And I'm going to color it to about that. Wow. That, that's actually the first time I actually got it correct. So, so the bright yellow. I'm going to make sure that it's that correct color. And then the tricky part is getting it down to where you want it. So what I'm going to do is that I, since I raised it up by uh, 0.2, I'm going to lower it by 0.25. That did the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. Okay, so y'all got to bear with me for a second. So 0.2, that's too much. Okay, so set that right there. So set it down to where it's completely level with the road. It's 0.25, go up one. And then you set it back to 0.2, there we go, to where it's just like this. So now, so now like the entire piece is just barely sticking up out of the road. Like it's still gonna be there, 
but it was not going to be as noticeable as as like what people will see it as. Now I understand that like as at this point like it's going to be like a little glitchy and stuff, but but that that's going to be acceptable because whenever you, you put your roads together, no one is going to be able to to see that. Like to see the word glitchiness. So now after you after you got that part, you just want to select your piece again, duplicate it, and then just move this piece to the other side of the road to about to where it's basically lined up. And then you, you just change the color again to a good color. It, it can be whatever you want. I'm gonna make that just a little bit that looks a little bit better. And now you got your three pieces. Group them together. And voila! That's pretty much it. So this piece right here is all you need for Parix Beautiful Rose plugin if you just want to build the road yourself without using the plugin. Now the cool thing is that you can literally just extend this piece to however long you want. Now please be aware that if you just if you just scale it in the model, it's gonna do this weird thing. You have to do it individually. So like for example, let's say that you want it to be about a little bit longer than this than this tire piece right here. You gotta do each segments individually i understand it'll be it's a bit of a pain but it, it's gonna it looks so much better like whenever you, you do it correctly it looks really nice and that my friends is how you do parix root plugin just by building it on your own it's very simple and that and that took us like like what four minutes to do and it and if you use the uh arguments plugin right here then you can literally just extend that piece however long as you want. You can create turns and do everything with that. As long as you have just that small little piece, you'll be you'll be able to do everything. So now we're going to shift gears. We're going to focus on this right here. Now this is the this is the exact same process that we did with with Parachute plugin, except the the road size is completely different. And I prefer to use this road over Parachute because it's just bigger and wider and easier to work with. So when you're when you're you're recreating 22 Pilots Road, you're gonna want to start off with the exact same thing: get material, get a new part, make sure that it's all lined up correctly. I'm actually gonna scoot this up a little bit to where it's a little bit more flowy. Okay, so that looks good. So now we're gonna get to about. Okay, so I'm gonna move this piece out of the way. Okay, so now we we're just want, gonna want to focus. On the entire road segment now this road the width of it is is a 100 accuracy scale of what 22 pilots road actually is i have a old roblox studio world that i i was building with whenever i was creating my world with the road plugin from 22 pilots and like literally the next day it just stopped working and i haven't deleted any of the roads i'm happy that i didn't so that i could recreate this and share this with y'all that's just a little backstory on, on on how I figured this out. So you got your piece. You're, you're just going to scale it down just a little bit. That's that's 100% level. I'm going to change the color to about... Actually, yep, that's about right. So now we got our piece. Now guess what? We do the exact same thing again. You duplicate it. You got to scale it down to where it's about the appropriate size. Now, you, you can either do the yellow line or the white line first. It does not matter. It does not matter whatsoever. It's not going to make a change in the world because you're going to end up with the same results anyways. So now we got your color. Going to go over the model, raise it to a quarter of a stud, and then drop it by two tenths of a stud. And now that's pretty much your line. Now I understand that's like different than the, the one I've done. I've, I've done a little different process but these but this is the exact same results i may actually do this now since this is like a whole lot better actually the material is supposed to be plastic so that it can have da, da, da. oh there it is plastic yep ta -da. plastic it needs to be it needs to be that color nope that's wrong color i know what i'm doing all right is that it I'm going to say yes, that is exactly it. So, so remember, when it comes to doing the lines, you go up a quarter, down two tenths. That's it. Or up a quarter, down a fifth. 
because two tenths is the same thing as one fifth. So then you just duplicate it, scoot your butt on over, and now we got the yellow. Uh, just do whatever yellow you want or white. <laughs> and then just like that, my friends, you have your road. Now I just need to group it together just so they don't fall apart. And look at that. Now this piece, again, exact same thing. Extend it, shorten it, use the Archimedes plugin. This piece right here will help you with creating your own 22 Pilots roads. Now it's always helpful, at least for me, to have a duplication of each small piece, like the small piece of this, the small piece of this, just so I can have that on standby and I can do like easier turns and sharper turns with fewer pieces. It just makes my life a lot easier whenever I have a, a, a duplication just ready to go. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this quick little tutorial. Um, if y'all did, then please feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. I know it's been a while since I did a tutorial because I've been just so busy with life, but I'm happy that I was able to do this again. If y'all have any questions, then feel free to reach out to me and please join my Discord. It's completely free. That is the best way to communicate with me and and we have a, a wonderful community on on my Discord. So if it, so if you want to join, then please feel free. You're, you're more than welcome to. But other than that, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see all of y'all in my next video. Bye.